Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make Uncle Sam's top hat. We're going to use a single loom and it's going to be in a standard configuration where all columns are going to be the same height. The arrow is going to face towards you. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of the peg that's facing towards you. I know that's a bit strange for those of you that make um, bracelets, but that's the way we do it. We're going to be double banding, which means you take two bands and you place them on a peg at the same time as if they were a single band. So let's get started. To start with, I'm just going to place two bands on this peg, but actually not do anything with them. Okay. And we're going to take a pair of bands, red, and place them from here to here. And another play from here to here. Now the colours that you're going to need are obviously a red, white and blue. I'm also going to use a couple of star um, beads for the uh, brim of the hat there on the blue. Okay, we're going to be doing five columns and we're going to move this down here on our first column. So that's one pair, that's two pair. Oops, that's three pair and four pair. Five pair. And six. And then we're going to have two blue. And then another pair of red, like that. I'm going to do the same down this middle column, but instead of red all the way down, we're going to do white. And it's still going to be double banding. You will need your um, rainbow loom hook which has the base removal tool on the end of it because we are going to be moving our column of pegs across so that we can actually do five columns. So we're laying our bands out first then we will put the extra bits on. red. Then we do the same down this side. I'm going to put two here. some blues and then two red now I'm also going to take some red from this side I'm going to place two here and just leave them because they're going to go to the next the next column I'm going to place two here okay so this will stretch across here and two here and it does matter the order that you put those on for looming. I'm just going to get rid of that. Now we need to add a few things. First of all we need to add our button, um, sorry our bead not a button, um, the, the star. If you don't have a star. I'm sure it'll look all right without it. I mean, it doesn't look too bad without. I just prefer it with. So, um, what we're going to do? I'm going to use a 2.75 crochet dude hook, which um, it goes my my bead goes quite nicely down that. Um, but you you can use whatever you normally do, whether it's floss or a threader or whatever. And we're going to lift up just one just one of the bands and it'll be the second band here 
and we're going to slide our bead on and replace the band on the peg like that. Okay, so you have your bead on here like that. Okay, now the other thing that we need to do is the little extension here for his um, the brim of the hat. So take a single red band and wrap it round your hook twice. Take two red bands and slide on like that. Take another two. I can see a broken band. Another two. Place it on the end of your hook and slide both of these onto it like that. Okay. Now I have done one, two, three on there. If you think that's too much, just do two like I've done here. All right. But if you like having the extra large brim, which I do, I'm going to do another one. Thank you. These are rainbow loom. I thought it was just the problem with the black. His red is having a bit of an issue too. Slide that on, reclaim the end of your band and I'm going to just place that here on this bat, that peg there. Okay. Now we need to do some crossover bands. I'm choosing red because red is going to be my outside colour here. I'm taking a single band and I'm going to stretch it across like this. Now when you get to this one you can choose a blue crossover band like that and then red again. Alright, we're ready to loom up column one and column two. So dig down and you're going to find this band here, okay? So it's the top two bands and you're going to loom across to the side and you're then going to do the same for column number two and loom across to the side like that. Now we can loom up our columns. Okay. Push that crossover band back with the back of your hook And then when you get to the top, we're going to move this one across here. But we're going to loom this one first because otherwise your red band, which is going to form your border at the top here, will be covered by the white. So let's loom up this one first. Dig down and find the two blue bands. And don't worry if it covers your uh, star. If you're like me, a bit OCD, you can poke it through, but it really doesn't matter. You can poke it through after the fact. Okay, grab the two blue, loom them up. Hold on to your loom so it doesn't try and escape. So we're going to loom this white one up to here, and then we can cover it with this red band there, like that. Now, we don't need a holding hook. This has actually been loomed in by this band here. So what we're going to do, and you'll think I'm a bit potty, is we're going to take this off the loom. Okay? Completely off. Just this first column. All right, now grabbing your rainbow loom hook, you're going to turn it over and we're using this clumpy end. We're going to take the bases off our loom and shove it one forward so that you have a free area here to put a new column. We're going to leave the middle big base in place holding the three columns but we're just moving the two little ones so that when we take this column off, which we're doing now, and move it forward like that, 
it's being held securely. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is these two that we had left here, we're going to move across. But before we do that, let's put another two on this one, okay? Because we're doing five columns. So we'll put two on here. Then we'll grab the two that we had waiting and we'll move them across over here like that. We're going to do white down here. So double band and place your white bands. Now this as a top hat can be any colour. I'm just doing it um, with some patriotic colours. But if you wanted to do a black top hat, you can, or whatever colour you want. So two blues. We're going to put a pair of red. And we're going to put another pair of red on here, like this. And we're going to move these ones over like that. We need to loom up this. We're going to start by digging down and finding the two that go across and we'll loom that in like that. Okay, keep those safe. We're going to move our crossover bands over to capture that new column that we've just made. And now we'll loom up this middle. Dig down and find the two bottom bands. You're going to push the crossover bands back with your hook. When you get to here, we're going to dig down, find the two red, and loom them across. If it's tight, put your hook around the peg and swirl it around the outside of the peg and it loosens it up. Okay, we can now take this column off. Now just be careful that these don't come off the loom, okay? But everything on that first column can come off. like that. Now this is going to be where we need to put our other star. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this crossover band over to here. I'm going to put my other star on my hook. Take that one off. Drop everything. I'm going to slide this on. Okay. And I'm going to replace the band and then replace the crossover band like that. I'm going to turn my loom upside down. I'm going to take the big base off this time. I'm going to move it across so that I have this column here ready for my last column that I'm doing. I'm going to move that across to here like that. Now, firstly, we're going to take these two bands that are here onto our hook and move them across. If I can get this one, it's being a bit sneaky. There we go. So grab that and pull that across. We don't need to put another two on there because this is our last column. So let's move down with some red bands. Two at a time. And then we have two pair of blue. And 
and another pair of red. I'm going to move this pair over on top. Now we're going to move our crossover bands over but we also need to put the other side of the brim of his hat on. So move those crossover bands over like that. Let's do the other side of the brim. So taking a single band, wrap it once and twice. Take a pair of bands and you're going to slide these onto it like that. Reclaim the end of your bands so that it's all sitting on your hook. Take another pair and slide all of that onto that band and reclaim. And one more time. Pair, slide it all on and reclaim. And that is going to go oops, just there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to loom down and find this top two bands which get loomed across to the right okay then we can loom up our column and you can push this through again like I said if you if you like to see the bead <laughs> which I do usually Come here, bead. Poke through. There we go. So there's my little bead. Dig down, find the blue bands, and loom up. Loom that white one in first, and then we take the two red and loom across. Let's go back down to this one now which is our last column. Dig all the way down to find the bottom two and loom up. Remember push those crossover bands back with the back of your hook. In our last set, dig down, find those two red bands. Gosh, I thought. There we go. And loom them across to here. We're going to get two red bands. Dig your hook down this particular corner and poke it out the end. Let me try and move some stuff. Okay, poke it out the out the side. Grab the two red bands, you're going to twist your hook so that the jaggedy edge does not go against those bands. Twist it round, move it to the back side of this peg and reclaim the end of your band on your hook. Taking the two closest to you, up, over and off, you're going to pull that tight into a slip knot. And now we're ready to take this off our loom. I use the back of a hook to help me, I just find it easier. Ease these off and then just gently pull your design off the loom, keeping your little beads the right way. And now we need to pull it into shape a bit. And what you will find is that the, the bands tend to settle um, after a, a little while. So they look a bit odd when you first take them off the loom. But then after a few, well an hour or so, they, they tend to settle into a better shape. So there we go, there's our little hat. And as I said, if you didn't want the brim to be so uh, so long, you just stop at two instead of three. 
Now, you can hang this on a uh, on a keychain if you desire, or the other thing you can do is just hide it. And what I tend to do when I hide it is dig down past these bands at the top and find some in the middle, and then I just gently drag those bands back through without distorting the shape of the um, hat like that and then again through this one here like so any loops that you see you can just poke down and then there is a slip knot there so it should be quite secure and there you have a little Uncle Sam top hat. I hope you enjoy making yours. Take care. Bye-bye.